Hello there and welcome to today's video. Well, today's class really, um, which is the All Things Fabulous class. Just to let you know, this, this tuition and video is pre-recorded and uploaded for today's class. So the reason for that is that it means I can record it in a, a quieter environment and I can control my environment. Um, also, it does mean that you can um, pause the video to catch up because I appreciate that I will be crafting at a faster speed than yourselves because I've pre-prepared some things and it's the first time you've probably had the stamps in your hands and things like that. So you can pause this video. Um, but I am online now with you to answer any questions in the live chat and to help you. And a very special thank you and welcome to the ladies who have purchased and participated in the class. Um, Vanessa, Mandy, Karen, Donna, Nina and Tracy. So hi to those ladies and I'm going to go through your pack with you. These are the projects we're going to be making. Now, when I made this on my on our paper crafts and piano evening, I did use a different sentiment stamp set because I wanted a birthday one. This happy birthday isn't in the set you've got, but we're going to be using other sentiments. So today we're going to be making a couple of tags. If I keep stopping, it's because I'm looking at what I can see to make sure I can see everything on screen. We're going to be making a couple of tags. And um, we're going to do two sort of clean and simple cards like that. And we're going to do a bit of a, not too fancy, but a fancier card. Okay, so I shall go through the pack that you got. All right. Now, most things are cut down for you. Um, I've been really good and organised with it. And if, you, if you're watching and crafting along, if you've got this set, then hi. Or if you want to take part in this class and purchase the products from me and the class, then you can contact me and I can sort that out for you. So first things first, at the front of your kit, you have got 10 labels. Now, these labels are from the Tasteful Labels set. And basically, I've cut you out every... There's 10 in the set. I've cut you out every label. We are only going to be using um, one, two three, four, I'm just getting mixed up, five. I'm only going to be using five, but you get, you can fit all of the labels on um, a piece of A5. So I figured it was just as easy to give you um, all of the labels so you can do something else maybe afterwards. And these are, these are, this is the tasteful labels if anyone's interested in it. They're all obviously different. And I think it's great that it was it was a lovely little discovery that I made that you could fit them all on a piece of um, A5. So it meant I, I got 10 labels with one roll of the Big Shot, really. So they are the labels. So if you want to keep the ones out that we're going to be using, it's that one. It's the larger ones, really, that one. This one. I mean, it's up to you. This one here. And then this, the bigger round one. Okay, so you've got five little labels left, which I'm sure you can make use of for something else. All right. So I'll put those over there. What else have we got? We've got a vellum doily, square vellum doily that we're using on a card. And then I have pre-cut you two tags. Because it's nice to do a card and a tag, you know, if you're giving someone a bottle of wine or something like that. Or obviously a present, it doesn't have to be alcohol. Um, two tags. Okay. Now I've got some spares in here, so it might look slightly different. So you've got a a rectangular piece of Whisper White and then a Bumblebee that's slightly bigger. That is for this card, along with your doily, yeah. So I've got two in here I had, because I've got six ladies taking part and I had to cut one for me seven, but... Um, I cut eight kits because it was easier when you're cutting the card down. So you've got two white card blanks. And then in your pack, you should have... Now, just be careful. You'll have one Highland Heather that's scored. Yep. 
Highland Heather that's scored and then you will have Highland Heather A5 that I've put you in as an extra, okay? Um, because I wanted you to have a full sheet of Highland Heather. So this is um, for your card, for this one, yeah? But then you've got a whole sheet that you could make into another card if you scored it at 10.5 here. Um, and you could, you've could probably got some white left over. Um, and you've got some tags left over, obviously, the little labels. Um, so, yeah, that's your kit. And then, finally, you have, obviously, you've got your stamps and some of you had inks as well. A whole sheet of Whisper White. Now, this is for stamping all your flowers on, okay? So, and your leaves. So, you should have plenty there, right? So, one of the things that it would be handy to have doing this class is a foam mat for stamping on okay and what i have done i'm just checking that i'm in screen what i've done is i have already pre-stamped and cut um a lot of mine out and what i'm going to tell you is there's two different types of flower there's this one that's not quite as full and then there's this one that's a full of flower you need seven of this one, yep. I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, and then three of the fuller one. Okay, so I have already pre um, done mine, although I did crop that. Yeah, they're duds because I didn't I stamp them too near the edge. But of course, I am going to, and I've not done all of them, I've done six because obviously I want to show you how to do the stamping. Okay, so now just before we start crafting, to pause this, if you want to pause, um, you can put your finger near the bottom of the screen where I'm crafting down here and you should be able to press it and it go, should go red. I've tested this out on my phone when I, was, when I watched the last, the last class I did like this and you can pause it. Um, if you need to rewind, you can literally put your finger on the red line and like a dot appears and you can drag drag it back. I hope that makes sense. And most ladies managed to pause pause it last time. So we're going to I'm going to show you how to stamp this one. Now the crucial thing that you're looking out for on this one when you're stamping it is this is what I look for, is this little thing here. Yeah. And it's like an upside down T almost yeah that's how i'm sort of seeing it it's it's a bit like an upside down t yep yeah? um and that's going to be crucial now the colors we're using are gorgeous grape and highland heather now excuse my gorgeous grape because it looks like it's faded a lot it does look very similar to the highland heather and i don't want you to get in these mixed up so i have got a suggestion for you if you take off the blank purple bit there on the back of the Highland Heather, you can stick it, and I haven't, in there. Yep, so you can tell which is which. Um, the gorgeous grape should look that colour. And then I have on this one, I've stuck it in there so I can see it's the darker one. That's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to start with the darker one. Now, your stamp set. Stamping up, I've tried to make it easy for you to work out which ones you need. So we're going to you make this one first. And it's got three elements. So the larger one, the medium and the small, yeah? And then the other three we're going to use is the large, the medium and the small, all right? Now, what Stamping Up have done, they've put a little sort of key in for you. And they've put one A, um... 1B, 1C. So 1A, 1B, 1C. I know they're upside down. And then we're using 2A, 2B and 2C. Okay. So what we're going to do first, the easiest way I have found of doing it is using the smaller one first. So it's this one that's got like the funny leg stuck out and the upside down T. I'm going to stamp that and I'm going to stamp it in full strength. Now, bear in mind, you're going to do seven of these. So you need to leave a bit of a gap 
not you don't have to leave too much but just have a have a look at what gap i would think about leaving like maybe just shot of an inch all around each side yeah maybe three quarters of an inch so let's just do a couple oops that's not very good like that so that's full strength okay there's going to be a lot of stamping off on scrap on this one next we're going to take the medium one we're going to stamp it in the gorgeous grape but we're going to stamp it off on some scrap and then what i want you to do is look for that upside down t and it's going to fit in there and you can move it and just see how it fits and when you put it down you should see all the white bits and i'm going to try and zoom in here hang on and hopefully not get my head in the shot for you yep yeah, so there's a little t and i'm just going to stamp off again and i'm going to line up can you see there so you can still see these white bits yeah and it's like that so I've not covered up any of this. This white here needs to remain. It, it's not going to get covered. So I'm going to do... This could take um, a little bit of practice. So I maybe suggest you, you try on some scrap. So again, I'm going to line up so that there's still white. And I'm going to line up that T there like that. Okay. And then... Obviously, you're going to do seven of those. I'm going to take the um, Highland Heather and I'm going to take the... So, so far, we've done this one and we've done this one and I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do it in the Highland Heather, but I'm not going to stamp off because this is a lighter colour. And again, I hope you can see, I'm, I can move it around and just... Move it and then think, yep, yeah, that's right. I can see the white. In fact, let me do this one down here because I can see it a bit better. Yep, yeah, and press that down. Okay, happy with that. There, I can see that perfectly that I've lined that up. There. Okay, right. So, let me just zoom out now. Oh, I don't want to zoom out that far. Didn't realise I could um, zoom out like that. Right, I think I'm more or less back to where I was. Um, let me just have a look. Uh, let's get it back. I think that's all right, yeah? Okay, so you need to do seven of those, yep. Yeah. And... Um, cut those out. I didn't include the dies because I cut these out on my um, paper crafts and piano and I found them okay to cut out. There are dies available if you wanted to get them. Um, I can show you those. But So I've got those two that I was just using for demonstrative purposes. I think I might need another one um, cut out. But anyways, so what I'm going to do next is show you the other um so i've closed up the highland heather i don't know why i've put the mat away and really i shouldn't have zoomed out but never mind i've got the gorgeous grape open now this one let me just get everything lined up we are now going to use this one this one and this one i think this was 2a 2b and 2c and again i'm going to start with a smaller one in the full strength and i'm going to do it it's a bit triangular, sort of. I'm going to do it with the point. Now, I, I went up too high with this one last time. So, come down a, about an inch, I would say. A good inch. I'm going to stamp like that. I'm going to go along and stamp another one. Okay? Now, what we're looking out for on this one... I don't know if you can... You can't see it on here very well. You will on the next one. There's a little nick there that's sort of a bit triangular. Yep. And there's a little... I don't know if you can see it here. Let me just get my scissors so I can point to it. There's a little triangle 
in the bottom right corner. Let me show you on the actual image on the cover. Can you see that triangle there? Just where my scissors are. That's what we're going to line up. And can you see that triangle there? That's what I've liked to use as my focal point for lining up. You'd be pro. You'd be pro at this by the time you finish. So we're going to stamp it again in the gorgeous grape, but stamp off. Actually, let me zoom again. Is that a bit better? Okay. And I'm going to pop that triangle. It's going to sit there. Can you see all the white there? Coming through like that. I'm going to do that one again. Stamp off. Try and I'm just going to turn it. Am I happy with that? Oh, that one doesn't look as good. Let me just... There we go. There we go. It is a little bit experimental, this one. And don't forget, if you don't get them all looking exactly the same, none of the flowers in the garden are exactly the same. So we're now going to take our Highland Heather, and I appreciate you're probably going to have to pause this for quite some time. And we're going to look, our triangle is down here to the bottom right. And that's going to sit with that triangle there. And we're going to lower it down, like so, and there. Hey, have I done that wrong? I've done that one wrong. Ignore me. I've done it upside down, I think. Yeah, so I've done it wrong. <laughs> uh, rewind. I've used the wrong triangle. I used, right, I used the wrong triangle. So just bear with me. It's that little triangle there. Right, it's that little triangle there. So this, if you look at this flatter leaf here, that wants to be, look, mine was too far up like that. It wants to be more to the side. Yeah, don't use the wrong triangle. There we go. That was, that was my wrong one. So there, ah, look. Look how much better that looks than that. So what you're aiming for is these bits here are on the edge of that um, petal and those bits there are on the edge of that one. Not skew if like that. So let me do another one just to show you again because that was my bad on that one. Oops. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to do that one. Then I'm going to do the middle one and stamp off. And I'm going to line that triangle in that nick there. Like that. Then with the Highland Heather, I'm going to get the flat petal sort of to like ten past the, on a clock. That's better. Okay, there we go. That's better. Just ignore that one. So, hopefully you've done better than I did with that. Let's zoom back out. Let me just check I'm zoomed. There we go. All right. So I have actually already prepped these. Uh, I might, now what I would do here is just check your hands. See if they need a wipe. Because the gorgeous grape can be a little bit uh, dark. And it can get everywhere. And I've been using Night of Navy this morning in my coffee and card. So I'm a little bit um, inked up. So let's actually get making some stuff now. All right, so you've actually finished with those floral stamps now, so you could actually put those away. Obviously, you're going to cut your cards, uh, you cut your flowers out now, so you'll have had to pause me. So let's start. Um, I'm not going to do both of these because they are very, very similar, okay? And you do have to... I mean, I made these at my, on my paper crafts and piano just to sort of making them up as I was going along. So just to be cautious when you're using this one, you know, you're going to have to change um, ink colour. So let's do this one. Um, I mean, they are very, very much the same. The only difference is I've used the bumblebee here. Yeah. For... Um, yeah, let's do the one with the bumblebee because it's nice to have that colouring. Now, if you don't have bumblebee, 
if you didn't want it, the yellow. You can get away with just doing it with lilacs, but I'm going to do it with the bumblebee um, because it's nice to have some yellows. And there are some other flowers in the kit, in the stamp, so you could use these stamps, smaller stamps with the yellow, okay, with the bumblebee. So where's my card base? can't believe I did that flower wrong. I, I stamped in a photo. That looks a bit rubbish. Right, so for this one, I'm going to use the large, probably the largest um, shape. And I've already pre-cut these. So I know that that can go there. And it's two of the ones that are the same. And that's going to go there. All right. And what you've got to sort of do is eye up where you want to pop your leaves now it's probably good to put something down on your card so it's not springing up all the time and we're going to use old olive it's such a it's such um an old faithful stamp um let me just clean this block and change you you do need quite a few blocks for this kit if you've not got you you will spend time changing blocks and things so i'm just going to stick that on there so i don't know where it is and i'm going to use there's quite a few different leaves in here and i'm going to use um this one okay the middle one because i like that one the bestest i don't know why and we're going to do some oh, look what i've just done right actually what you can do just make sure your hands are really clean is open it like that so it's not springing out okay and you can pop that there just to see, sort of keep in mind where it is and where your flower's going to be now i'm not sticking that flower down yet because i'm just going to put it there so i know really i should be using um i should be stamping on a mat but i'm just for this i'm not i'm going to sort of put that there i'm i'm thinking right i want to stamp that there so i'm going to move those and I'm going to stamp down. Now, what I'm going to do before I re-ink is I'm also I've got a hair on there. I'm also going. I'm also going to stamp this one over here. This pale one, yeah, like that. Okay, and then I'll just stamp another one like that. And I'll pop that back, and you see. Quite happy with that. Right, so then I'm going to attempt <laughs> these little, I don't know what they are supposed to be, these little stamen. I'm just going to move the flower and pop one there like that. I don't know if I've stamped that in full. I don't think I did. So I stamp one there like that. And then I'm actually going to go over the leaf, but it doesn't matter. One there like that because leaves grow over each other and then what you do well let's get the bumblebee ink out it these little sort of um buds in fact i've i've got these plants that my mum gave me and my god she just tells me plant this plant this it'll grow it'll come and i don't know what i'm doing with it and um they're called golden rod they've gone they're nearly as tall as me i'm just going to zoom in on this and um, they've actually, they, they actually have yellow buds on, so they look like this. So then what you want to do is, this will line up, as you can see, over these little stems. So, like that. Ah, you see, I've stamped on that leaf there, but never mind. Like that. Oh, that wasn't really very good. Oh, well, I've, I've messed that up, but never mind. Oh, I've got a stamped off effect. It doesn't look bad, actually. I'm I'm rushing, you see. I shouldn't be rushing. So, so that's going to go. That's going to go over there, you see. Like that. All right. Oh, I'm wondering if there's a little... Oh, no, there isn't. Sometimes you get a little splatter in um, a stamp set. And this would look nice. Okay, so this flower here is going to be there. And then I've... I have bravely stamped one on there. So let's have a go at that. I've not zoomed out, have I? 
So I'm just going to stamp about halfway along like that. Let's see if I can sort this out and do it properly. You might have to see my head on camera. Let me turn it round and get in close and see if I can do it better. And line it up better. There we go. There we go, that's better. Okay. All right, so that's going to go there like that. And that's going to go there like that. And then, of course, we want some foliage, some leaves down here. I'm not zoomed in anymore, am I now? So I'm just going to lift this off, push that up slightly and do one there like that. That's why you need your mat. There we go. I'm going to do another and I'm going to stamp off. Oh man, I should get my mat. That's better. Okay, doc. So that will go there like that, you see. I'm going to, we'll be getting the mat out on the next one. And then, right, we're going to have to. T fold our card back because it's probably going to overhang the edges this one I'm going to take it up there like that there we go okay so I am going to stamp a greeting on the label and I'm going to use one from the set that you're using and if you want to use a happy birthday and you want to um You know, you want it to be a birthday card, then you can. But I am going to do, mm. I think I'll do, wishing you all things fabulous. Let me just see if it's going to fit. Yes, I think it will. So, it's not going to fit on that block though. Right, where's that mat gone? That pesky mat. So I've not used this stamp before. So I'll make sure it's the right way up, Julie. Wishing you all things fabulous. I'm going to do it, I think, in gorgeous grape. If you want to comment along, let me know how you're getting on. Please do. Because I am just literally sat here typing, I'll be sat here typing comments in. There we go, that's nice. I didn't tell you, I've just realised, I didn't go through, look at the purple, man. I didn't go through that you've also got a metre and a half of the ribbon. I didn't cut mine for me, I've left mine on the reel. Um, but you have got a metre and a half of the ribbon. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just check I'm happy with all that. So that's going to go there like that. Yeah. This one is going to go here like this. I might do it a bit more that way. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put some foam pads on this one. Um, where have I put them? Have I put them away from this morning? Probably. I thought I'd got them out. I've got my glue out. Okie dokes. So, the other card I'm not going to do because it's very, very similar to this one. So, I think will be there like that. Okay. Yeah. So now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because let me just move this away. You've got half of your flower on your your piece that's popped up on foam pads and some of it's hanging off the edge. So what I would do is just use the edges of some foam pads 
most of it is going to be glued to the um, the label that you've cut. So just pop a foam pad at the top, yeah, and then pop some glue at the bottom. Okay, so you're balancing it out. So your foam pad's at the top and your glue's there. So it's gluing it to the label, but the foam pad's gluing it to the card. And then for this one, you want glue at this side and a foam pad here. So we'll pop a foam pad here, like that, and then we'll put glue at this side. There we go, and there we have our first card. And for this one, I'm not going to go through this one um, on screen as such. It's this label here, and most things are the same, except I've not stamped um, this. So it's, it's probably easier, this one. Everything's stamped direct onto the card, but it's all glued down flat. So this one would be great to send and not have to do a large letter. Um, I will put pictures. I will put pictures on the Facebook group event of each card. So this is what these are the two that you um, would have done. Okie dokie. I don't even know how I'm doing for time. I've done half an hour apparently. So should we do the next card? In fact, I think we should just do it all in one go. And then you can pause and just come back to it. So we're going to take our Highland Heather scored piece. Remember, we had one piece that was scored and one piece that wasn't. So we're going to do the scored piece and then these two pieces. And we need our doily. Okay. So what we can do first is we can glue our white, Whisper White. Yep, nothing is stamped direct onto the white on this one. Okay. So it's sort of a bit easier, this one, really. That's going to stamp onto here. Not stamp. Stick. Began with stir. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to use these vellum doilies. Now, this is for Donna. Because Donna said... Can I give her an idea of how to use them? So I got the inspiration for this to use a doily because there is a um, a die in the die set that matches with this that's a bit like a doily there. So it gave me the inspiration to use a doily. Now, the um, middle bit we aren't going to see, so I'm probably going to put most of the glue in the middle bit. So if some of it splashes out, because it's hard just gluing. You could use your fine tip glue for this. But I'm just going to pop Tombow, the Tombow glue. And I'm just going to do it in the centre bit. Because you won't see it for everything else that's going on. And then I'm going to I'm going to make sure this distance and this distance is the same. And this distance and this distance. Yep. And I'm just going to leave that like that. Alright. Now we are going to use um, for the first time one of the other flowers yep and this is the one that i did wrong remember um so this is the one where you're looking for the little triangle so you should have stamped three of these and cut them out and then we need to stamp some leaves onto our scrap and what i've done you should have you should have some scrap left, this big A4 sheet. Now, if you've left a gap um, in between your flowers, can I suggest like that is the perfect, perfect space for a leaf? Yep. Okay. So if you think you've wasted it, all is not lost because you'll be able to fit your leaves in, in between. Yeah. Makes sense. Right. So... What we're going to do is we're going to use on this card, this shape here. Okay. And 
you want to stamp the sentiment quite, it's going to sort of sit like that, yeah? But you want to do the sentiment sort of more towards the top because the flowers are going on along the bottom. Now, I'm going to use, let me see what size it is. Now, I'm going to, th I think I'm going to use, I'm here for you because I think that's nice. I do think that's nice. And probably fit fitting nicely with that one. And I'm going to use it with gorgeous grape again. Whenever you get a new stamp that you've not used before, I always just have a little go on my scrap because sometimes you can get residue, like factory, I sort of call it factory residue on your stamps. Should have my mat, but never mind. So I've stamped that quite near to the top. Okie dokie. And that's going to pop on there with some foam pads. Let's close these ink pads up because I always make my ladies close them up in class. And I never close them up in when I'm doing my stuff. And I always say an open ink pad makes me nervous. So... I should be practicing what I preach. So I'm just going to put four pads on there. And I'm going to stick this in the center of the doily. Oh man, look, I've got yellow. I didn't even check that bumblebee. You see, all I've done is close my ink pad up and I've got yellow on everywhere now. But don't worry, because what we're going to do is we can cover that with a leaf. That's no problemo. Look, we'll have a nice positioned leaf. There, you see, it's going to cover that. Hmm. So, <laughs> oh my word. So because these leaves are cut out, we can we can do that, we can cheat. So I'm just going to position where I want these flowers that I've already stamped and cut out. I am going to have a bit of an overlap like that. And what I have done on this card is I've stamped one in full strength and then the other two are stamped off. This one's they're going to sit flat. So I just like to, that one's sitting flat on the card, this one's going to be on the... Um, label this one is too like that all right so i'm just going to position those and see where i want them well you know where i'm going to have to have that one it's going to have to stick over that bumblebee that i've got messed up so there's a little tip if you go wrong stick a leaf over it like that okay now for this flower here this big one we just need to work out maybe we could have it coming over here most of it is actually going to be on the label so it might be worth popping a foam pad at the bottom just here yeah does that make sense but the but then we've got glue on the um actual flower itself Turn it round, move that bit. Oh no, I can't because I've got my yellow. So that leaves a bit in limbo, really. I could pull it out a bit more so you can see it a bit more. Yep. Okay. God, I feel like I'm just rabbiting onto myself here now. Right, and then this one, you need to decide do I want that stuck under there? Which do I want to be more prominent? Probably the larger one. So I'm going to pop a foam pad. Look, I've got a foam pad thing stuck under there. Did anyone spot that? <laughs> I'm going to pop a foam pad on this bit here and then um, glue on the rest of it. And I'm going to sort of manoeuvre it underneath the other flower. Like that. Yep. And then this is going to stick in fact if you've got glue 
left that's and it's not stuck down just tuck it in and let it glue it to it you know i've not put any glue on the leaf because it's using the glue that i'd put on the flower and then i am just going to pop this one in here so what i will do is pop a little bit of glue on it and sort of slide it <coughs> excuse me <coughs> slide it into position oh. Okay, now we need to do our ribbon. Now what I would do with your ribbon, leave it all attached, don't cut a piece, because that's when you start wasting ribbon is when you cut a piece down. So with your loose, well, both of your ends are loose, <laughs> that next one, but my, the reel's attached to the left on mine. I've got the right hand piece is the free piece. Um, I'm gonna do a bow. So I always, and I've got a video on tying bows, I always start, pull it quite tight and do like a little cross. So I've done right over left and then I do two loops, cross those over each other and then push that loop through the hole, let the tail flip over and then pull it tight. And then we just need to judge it then. Now the key to doing a bow is to get that knot in the middle really tight pull those loops against each other i always say pull them like a tug of war sort of against each other and it'll get the knot really tight and there we go i might just tuck that under there like that happy with that and then i'm going to trim that down so i've not really wasted much just about a centimeter and a half this is my favourite ribbon from um, from the new catalogue. And then I'm going to just glue that onto there. Oh, look what I've done. Right, if that happens, if you twist it at the back, can you believe I've done that? What, what, let's fix it. Let's fix it, Jules. Okay, so... I thought it was straight at the back, it clearly wasn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop my finger down and pull that tight and I'm gonna pop some double-sided over it, yeah? And I'm gonna do the same here, yeah? So we, we know they're in place and we know they're okay and we know it's still pulled tight. Does that make sense? But we've still got our twist at the back, which we don't want. So what we're going to do is we're going to snip this. Yeah. But because I've put the ribbon in place, it's not going to boing back. And we'll put some, not the ribbon in place, the tape, Julie. We'll put some more on here just to hold those down. So that's a little fix-it job. <laughs> May as well use this now. Take the back off that. That's how to fix that if you do that. Done a few boo-boos today. Then I will put some glue over that though. Just around the edge there. And then that's gonna stick over there like that. Now, if you like, you could, oops, maybe I do need to glue that down a bit better. If you like, and you like a, a gem or two, you could pop a little, um, you know, gem or diamante or a little embellishment. Um, it's just if you wanted, if you've got something else in your craft stash, you could do that. Um, for those of you who got the parcel in the post from me, the... Um, June one, you could use, um, they would look nice, the little, they'd look nice, if you got those, and then that's our, well, it's our third, oh, look, I've got a mess there, it's our third card, because we've done two, I know I only did one, um, so now we've just, we've really just got the tags left to do, um, 
which is cool. So I've already pre-cut these for you. So this is a really easy project. Um, and you should have your flowers already stamped and cut out. So with your ribbon, what you've got left is for your two tags. So I would cut what you've got left in half and then that should be enough for your tags, all right? So with the tags, we're using this round one and we're using this one, okay? And um, I'm going to have to use... The sentiment to fit in there is going to have to be, I'm here for you. Or you can use another one from your stash, okay? So um, if you wanted a happy birthday and you've got one in your stash, then... This one I like using is from Peaceful Moments, and I like I love using that. In fact, I am gonna I'm gonna use that, and then I've got some Happy Birthday ones. I know that's a bit cheating with the class. Um, yeah. Okay, so gorgeous grape again. Where are you? Let me at you. So let oh, not put the stickers on these ones. Let me stamp Happy Birthday on there. And happy birthday on this one. Okay. Right, so all we're going to do with these tags, we can put your bumblebees to one side. <laughs> oh dear, more ink on. Right, let me get that wipe again. Honestly, the gorgeous grape is... I look like I've got bruised hands now today. Um, all we're going to do is stamp some leaves, if you can see from these two tags, directly on to the um, tag. And what I'm going to do is put my mat under my worksheet, under my grid paper, and find my old olive ink pad. If you want to do extra, like if you want to stamp those little buds as well, by all means, you know, if you want to stamp the buds... By all means, do that. I, I'm just keeping these quite simple. Um, so I'm going to find my leaf stamp. And I'm literally going to stamp at the top like that. And then like that. Okay. So once and then twice. And then I'm going to stamp there. I think that's what I've done it on that one. Like that. And I'm going to stamp it again. Like that. That's that one. So let's put that to, I think I think they look pretty much the same. No, oh, they're similar. So I'm, I've used a full flower on one, but I've sort of turned it sort of upside down-ish. Like that. So I'm going to glue that on, but I love how it hangs over. So if you're going to have it hanging over, obviously don't put glue on the whole thing. Only go up to a certain point because you don't want glue um on the bit that's hanging over yeah so i'm going to do that and then i'm using one of the smaller flowers at the top and all you need to do is just test how that looks yeah that looks fine just don't forget you've got a bit hanging over here again there all right so that's that. And then we're just going to pop some foam pads on there. Now, if you're not watching me live, it's easy to do this, the pausing, obviously. Um, it's a lot easier, but you can easy pause, pause me. Um, and you can catch up with the comments as well. But you won't be, if you're not watching live, you won't be able to, Pop a comment in um, if you're watching afterwards. But if anybody needs any help with anything, just please get in touch with me on Facebook. So that's that one. And then this one with the circle, I'm going to just copy what I've done here. And with this one, I stamped there. Yep, yeah. and I'm going to do it there like that. Oh, I like that two-tone. And I'm going to come down here. Like that. 
and it might even go like that. Okay, oh look, that should be covered though. And again, I'm going to take a full flower and pop it there. So once you've got all these flowers pre-made, um, it's really easy. That's going to take that's going to take the most of your time up um, with this class is prepping the flowers. And again, I'm going to pop some foam pads on here. So you've got a sheet um, of A5 Highland Heather. You could make another card. If you do make another card, I'd love to see it. And if you've got some Whisper White left, um, you've got some certainly got some labels left. You could cut it down and make a little tag or something or a mini card. That's going to go there like that. Okay, now I need to get my ribbon. So I'm going to cut my ribbon down. Because I've not cut mine. And what you do is fold your ribbon in half. Okay. So fold it in half and then you've got your loop there. So you take your two pieces you push the loop from the front to through to the back, pull it up and then feed the two tails through the loop and pull like that. Yep. So we have one. Gosh, I've got, I must start buying a few people, a few presents. I've got all these <laughs> cards and tags to send. In fact, these could be my thank you cards for um, my July orders. I'm wondering I could put people a little tag in instead. I know they say happy birthday, but when I send out um, thank you gifts to my online shoppers or a thank you card, I don't write in them so they can repurpose the card and send it to someone and share the stamping up love. Oh, oh look, oh, I have done the yellow. I thought I'd not done the yellow behind it. There we go, girls. So I've got my two tags. And they are the tags done. So let's bring everything in. So we've got the card there, that one that we did. We've got that one. And I know I didn't do the flat one. Um, the plain purple one. But it's here, the original one I did. So I shall pop that one there. And all the photos are on my Facebook events page. So they are the makes from today. And I do hope you've enjoyed the class. And um, I'm looking forward to bringing more classes to you online. And I'm looking forward to finding ways to get getting back to my studio in a safe manner. But in the meantime... Um, I'm really enjoying doing the online classes. If you've any questions, um, please just send me a message and I will help you. And thank you for um, joining me today. Thank you for crafting with me. And I'd love to see what you've made. So if you want to send a message through with the items that you've made, I would love to see that. Um, and thank you. I hope you've had fun and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.